What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing a very requested look. It's from you guys. Um, last week, Urban Decay shared one of my makeup looks using their Born to Run palette. And you guys flooded me with requests to do a tutorial on this look. And then of course, I ran a poll last night asking for sure, is this what you guys want in my next video? And you guys said yes with like flying colors. So today I'm going to be recreating that look for you guys using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. If you'd like to see how I achieved this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm starting with a Sigma E25 brush and I'm taking the shade Baja and I'm gonna place that in my crease and just blend that out nicely. This shade is so pigmented. And just to note too, my eyes were primed with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, so I'm not going in with this like, with nothing on my lid. Now I'm gonna take still shot and just lightly blur out the edges a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna take the shade Hellride. I'm taking a Luxie 231 brush. And I'm gonna kind of start on the outer corner and blend into the crease. So I like to pat dark colors to help build up the pigment. And then I'll blend them out afterwards. Okay, so this is the part where I take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is my all-time favorite concealer for everything, especially cut creases, because it is just so thick. I mean, nothing shows, no color shows underneath of this. It's phenomenal, so especially if you want to cover up dark circles under your eyes, I mean, this stuff seriously just does it all. Um, so we're gonna start by doing the cut crease. Now I'm gonna go in with a Sigma E15 brush in the shade Ignite, and I'm gonna pat that on the center of the lid. I'm gonna go back in with my Luxie brush and the shade Hellride and just kind of start darkening the outer corner more and blending Ignite and Hellride together. Now this is the part where I would take an angled brush and the shade Big Sky and we're gonna start filling in the inner corner with that shade and then also lining the rest of the cut crease with it. So 
So next I took the oh the next I took the Urban Decay 24/7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Overdrive, and I lined my waterline with it. So oh my gosh, I hate doing it on camera. It's so gross, but yeah. So I want lined my waterline with it. And then taking an E15 brush from Sigma, I'm gonna also take the Big Sky shade, because I believe that's what I did. And I just kinda like ran it over the Overdrive liner. Okay, so off camera, I'm going to apply some House of Lashes Iconics. I didn't wear these in the original post, but I also don't remember what lashes I wore in the original post. I'm sure they're somewhere on Instagram, but yeah. So I'm going to throw those on real quick and then we can continue. Okay, so this is the finished look. It's pretty simple in my eyes. It takes a little bit of practice if you're not really comfortable with cut creases, but once you get the hang of it, all it is is just blending a few different colors together on the lid. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad that you guys wanted me to do a tutorial on this look. It was a lot of fun to recreate for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you're not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next time.